Tucked in a South Sacramento warehouse sits a collection of trains. Hey, look at these two. Thousands of trains. A lot of the locomotives are colorful uh, from different uh, uh, railroads from all over the, the country. And they're here because this is where a man named Thomas Gibson stored them, and this is only part of it. I would call him a train magnet more than anything. Just trains had a way of finding their way to him. Rick Wilson, also a collector, spent the last 40 years talking and buying trains with Gibson, who died a year ago. Tom was like a walking encyclopedia. If you ask him a question about real trains or toy trains, he had answers. He, he just, he was very knowledgeable. Each weekend in April, Rick will help one? Gibson's son Edward and daughter Karen preserve this history by selling the pieces to train enthusiasts. Collecting the toy trains is basically they're a dying breed. As far as selling this stuff, that's more sharing with the people that are still willing to, to collect and enjoy the trains. Included in the locomotive lot, authentic railroad lanterns and diesel horns, unopened train sets, and plenty of black steam engines. His wife always says, Tom, what do you need another black one for? Because they all started looking the same to her, you know. The collection is more than 50 years old, perhaps the entertainment of a bygone era, but the toys still manage to transport some curiosity. Because I like the wheels, how it's like detailed. And Gibson would have wanted it that way. His dream was to turn this warehouse into a big train store. So I think this is a great tribute to Tom Gibson. You know, this is his train store. In South Sacramento, Max Resnick, KCRA 3 News.